How is it going today, loyalist Kid Rice Dwayne? My name's Jasmine. We're Dwayne and Jasmine. We have Dio versus Alucard. Mm -hmm. Basically, uh, I didn't know this back in the day what? when we used to like watch the Hellsing Ultimate Abridged, Dracula. which is fire. Dracula, yeah, Alucard. I, I didn't I know, know that. Me and you like both, me and you both didn't know that. We was like, oh, it's Dracula backwards. Oh, <laughs> makes makes sense. But anyway, uh, if you guys haven't got your guys, please follow social media and the link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe. Right. Let's dive on in. I don't like Dio. Dio or Cater, yo. I don't I, like him. I'm rooting for Alucard. Alucard. Great villain, but. <laughs> right. The Helsing organization. That's my boy right there. Yeah. Nightmares formed from the blackest pits of man's Ooh. demented imagination. Castlevania. Anime. Yeah. Basically the same thing. <laughs> what do you get when you combine them? Two of the meanest monsters out there. Man, Dio is a bastard, I hate, I hate Dio, bro. I'm going for Alucard. Alucard. <laughs> Imagine, if you can, someone so <laughs> wicked that the sheer magnitude of their unholy dickishness literally <laughs> destroyed the universe. Yeah. You might think they'd have to be no less than the devil himself, but it was him. Might Dio. as well be. Dio. Born a penniless street rat with a cunning mind in the slums of Victorian London, Dio was humiliated by his poverty mm -hmm. and abused by his alcoholic father. His bitter resentment and small dick energy would lead to a lifelong desire for ultimate power and immortality uh -huh. to reach a place over heaven. And he'd get his chance to act when he was adopted into the wealthy Joe Star. And they family. treated him so nice. They did. Kill his new father, George Joe Star, mm -hmm. and take his fortune for himself. Only one thing stood in his way: his new brother, Jonathan Joestar, mm -hmm. aka Jojo. Jojo. Yep. Yes. I tried to go all alpha wolf on Jojo by engaging in such classic sibling pranks as beating him up, molesting mm. his girlfriend, mm. and setting his dog on fire. Yes, ah! that's what got me. Setting the dog on fire. Dog I'm like, yo, you gotta Jojo. die, yo. But after yes, bro. Emotional manipulation. And he even kicked the dog when he first saw him. I know. Foiled by his righteous stepbrother. With help from the interfering speed wagon, all seemed lost until Dio pulled out his plan B, an ancient stone mask that turned him into a vampire. Yeah. yeah. It's just bizarre. Okay, so he's not technically a vampire like, say, Dracula. Instead of turning you into an unholy demon, the stone mask eliminates your body's natural limitations. Mm. Making him way stronger, faster, and tougher than any human. He can hear a heartbeat through the ground, fly through the air, and hypnotize you with just a glance. Yeah. It gets weirder. Dio can create mind-controlling flesh buds from his hair follicles, vaporize the moisture in his body to freeze anything he touches, and fire beams of pressurized fluids that can split the sky. Pressurized fluids? <laughs> oh, sometimes it's too easy, Wiz. Even more insane is Dio's healing factor. He's been burnt alive, impaled through the head, bisected, mm. decapitated, lost limbs, filled with bullets, and had a huge hole punched in his and head. Still not once, not twice. But three times! Another mm. similar vampire, Straits, survived being blown to pieces and just pulled himself back together. <laughs> All Dio needs is some blood to speed up the process, so he is basically a vampire. Mm. Though I yeah. guess the fangs are just for decoration because he sucks blood through his hands. Through his hands, yeah. yeah. Dio used his powers to raise a zombie army to conquer the world and feed a baby to its own mother. Mm -mm -mm. Just for kicks! I've had a lot of real Just piece laugh. of shit on this show, Wiz, but I'm starting to think Dio takes the cake. Dio. Yes. His plans were foiled again by his old frenemy Jojo, who beat Dio's ass with a martial art that uses the power of the sun, Hamon. Mm -hmm. Because, should Dio's vampire body be subjected to sunlight, he will instantly disintegrate. So, what did Dio do? Well, he cut off his own head, killed Jonathan on his wedding night, and attached his head to Jojo's body. Oh! Well, oh. take taken for sure. God, bro. Yes, I took that, that man's the body. The ocean, Dio resurfaced in Egypt and tried once again to take over the world. Oh. His ultimate goal was to create a world where everyone knew their own fate and could make peace with the inevitable tragedies life had in store. In Dio's mind, heaven. And he'd make it happen no matter how many breads he'd have to eat. <laughs> After being struck by a mystical arrow, sure, yep. why not, Dio gained a stand. A stand yep. The embodiment of a user's life force. Since they're mm. made of psychic energy, stands can only be seen by stand users mm -hmm. and can only be hurt by other stands. Mm -hmm. Quite the obstacle for any opponent lacking similar abilities. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Hey, look, Wiz, I got a stand. I call it 99 Bottles. Oh, shit. Uh, don't worry, Wiz. I'll teach 
Get you back with your deep trans mode, the trans mega, trans mega. Ooh, look, a jay. <laughs> Oh my god. Imagine checking your friend, friend right? Right. As befits a god among men, Dio received one of the most powerful stands in oh, history. God. <laughs> that was a problem. That was a problem. I was like, what? Thanks for this. Ow! Well, not only does his time stuff get longer with each use, he can spam it as much as he likes. Mm -hmm. He's a massive troll. The world yes. is absurdly strong and fast, able to match the stand Star Platinum, which belongs to Jonathan's great-great-grandson, mm -hmm. Jojiro Kujo. He technically inherited it from Dio through Jonathan's body and bloodline, making mm -hmm. Star Platinum and the world the same stand. And mm -hmm. both are two of the strongest stands out there, just as strong as Stone mm -hmm. 3, which can punch meteors that were pulled to Earth in seconds. Mm. By measuring the distance the meteors are from Earth, we can estimate they were moving at over 11 million meters per second. Factoring in their mass, they each have a kinetic energy. I cannot wait for her. I can't wait. I can't wait for her art, bro. Yeah. Not that crazy when you can throw punches that are faster than light. No, really, Star Platinum kept up with this stand, Silver Chariot, which could mm -hmm. cut the beam of light. Looking at the interval silver chariot sword him. swung relative to the light beam, it must have moved over 1,500 times the speed of light. And Dio himself has matched Star Platinum on his own. <laughs> he punches head on. Yeah, yeah, but that's nothing compared to Dio's secret weapon, the greatest weapon in anime history. The Steamroller. Turns out Dio's a hell of a chef. He can make pancakes. Oh my and gosh, they even had that in Jump Force. So, I know. Despite having a massive god complex, Dio's still a careful tactician capable of exploiting an opponent's weaknesses. Too bad he wasn't prepared for Jotaro to learn how to stop time too and mm -hmm. murder the shit out of yep. him. Yep. That's mm -hmm. some hardcore karma right there. Mm -hmm. But it yep. makes sense that a dog murderer would die like a bitch. But much like the magic of great yes. and terrible men, Dio's will was immortal. In time, his greatest followers succeeded in extinguishing the Joestar bloodline oh, and beautiful. literally remaking the universe in Dio's image, creating that heaven he always dreamed of. Mm -hmm. I guess when you're named after a rock star, a movie star, and uh, oh, that's right, God, you're pretty <laughs> much bound for greatness. And just look at the poses. Right. But it was I, Dio. Dio. How blessed oh, are some I can't stand Dio. Whose lives have no fears, no dreads. For though the Nick world seems full of good men, Thank you. there are monsters in it. Mm -hmm. But don't worry, Jory Old England has it covered with the Helsing Organization. <laughs> Founded by famous vampire hunter Abraham Van Helsing and led Abraham? by Integra, <laughs> this secret government institution Is that his first name? The world time and again. Yeah, Never knew Abraham that. I thought, just, I thought it was his man now. And what better no, weapon than was vampires than with one of their very own, the no-life king, the bird of Hermes, Alucard. The most, his origin was shrouded in mystery. But under Helsing's employ, he was molded into an elite hunter, made even mm -hmm. more vicious by his intense hatred of his fellow vampire kind. He's vampire uh, tall. Hatred that mm -hmm. he five, he's two of the gnarliest mm -hmm. handguns you'll ever pray to your infinite god oh my to never see in person. Alucard's primary sidearm is the castle, a behemoth of a handgun able to kill most undead in one shot Ooh. with holy bullets that can nullify a vampire's healing factor. Mm -hmm. The jackal is the handgun she told you not to worry about. Mm -hmm. 16 inches long and weighing 35 pounds. <laughs> armor piercing, hollow point bullets, jacketed in blessed Macedonian silver were built to annihilate the toughest monsters. And after Chef's decades kiss. of clandestine mm. experimentation, Helsing enhanced Alucard's vampiric abilities far beyond the norm. Alucard can walk through walls, cast illusions, levitate, mm -hmm. and move objects with his mind. Objects like, say, an ocean of over blood. three million people's blood? Mm -hmm. That'd be yes. actually worth half a ton of TNT. His psychic prowess allows him to read minds, communicate telepathically, hypnotize with a glance, and see through hallucinations with his third eye. He's mm. not a triclops. It's more of a sixth sense that lets him hit bullseyes from a kilometer away and even predict your movements. Kind of mm. like the Sharon gun. Of course, he wouldn't be a real vampire if he couldn't drink blood. Mm -hmm. The catch is, mm -hmm. when he drinks enough blood to kill you, he literally absorbs your soul. And 
that right there Who? is the source of his most fearsome ability. Why? You just can't kill the son bitch. Shoot him into Swiss cheese, blow his ass to smithereens, turn him into mm. a literal blood puddle. He'll just regenerate his body, lickety split. Over and over. Like, we've seen some overpowered healing factors on this show before, but Alucard's is just bullshit. <laughs> While he does possess blood and organs like a regular human, Alucard's body is, in reality, composed of an ethereal, shadow-like substance that he can morph any way he wants. Mm. This allows him to shapeshift and instantly heal any wound. And each soul Alucard has consumed acts as an extra life that he can spend whenever he's and fatally he's wild. Kind he's of like a video game. Mm -hmm. And after 500 years of unlife, Alucard has consumed literally millions of souls. Yes. Uh, yay, more beers. Just like me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Helsing needed a beast as fearsome as Alucard to take on Millennium, a.k.a. Nazi vampires. That's like evil I was back on Nazis like when Millennium SS right. Lieutenant Rip Van Winkle commandeered a British aircraft carrier as part of an invasion of London. Alucard didn't like that very much. No. Nope. Mm -hmm. Jack knifed it with an SR-71 Blackbird at Mach 3. A fully loaded Blackbird weighs 170,000 pounds. Sheesh. Meaning it's mm. struck with the kinetic energy of 11 tons of TNT. Ooh. That's as powerful as the U.S. Massive Ordnance Air Blast. A.K.A. the mother of all bombs. And Al was in the middle of that and strolled out like it was nothing. Mm. Just as impressive as intercepting Rip's magic bullets. Comparing the distance one bullet moved to the jet in the same time frame as the jet's own movement, each bullet would have to be moving at 1,500 times mm. the speed of sound. Mm. And Alucard caught one with his freaking teeth. And after giving Ooh. Rip's name a new meaning, he drove that aircraft carrier back to shore with his mind to fight two separate armies <laughs> at the same time. What a goddamn monster! It goes yes. without saying that Alucard's immense power and bloodlust needed to be controlled. So six restriction levels were placed on him that he can release against dangerous opponents. I'll remember that. Level six mm -hmm. two are for wrecking your ordinary ghouls. Level one is for your heavy-duty vampires and for getting this gnarly demon doggo made from his shadow essence, mm. Maskerville. But there is an so even greater state of power Alucard can release when he wants to end the world. Level zero. Once activated, level zero releases every single soul Alucard has consumed as a Which sea of blood. I was like, what is that when I was watching it? Yeah. Sure, with his souls gone, he can't heal as easily, and if his heart is destroyed, he'll die permanently. But the sheer numbers and power of this army from hell makes him virtually impossible Three to million approach in London. the first place. He's unstoppable. This guy has got to be like the king of all vampires. Right? Right. Is. Helsing purposely kept Alucard's true identity a secret, mm -hmm. calling the code name Alucard backwards in Dracula. Dracula. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Duh, whiz, idiot. Over I was a yeah. hundred years ago. The Wallachian Wavode Vlad Dracula battled the Ottoman Turks for control over Eastern Europe mm. and impaled thousands of people in the process. Mm. Hence his historical name, Vlad the Impaler. Mm -hmm. But things didn't end up too good for him. Right before his execution, he took a big old sip of some blood from the battlefield, sacrificing his humanity in order to become an immortal creature of the night. And mm. that is when the legend was born. But it wasn't anything Dracula was proud of. He grew to despise his monstrous nature and yep. saw it as cowardice. The main reason he hated other vampires so much was that he really hated himself. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's deep, Wiz. Maybe that's why he always lets his enemies rip into him like a pinata of self-loathing. His crazy OP healing factor will fix everything anyway. Mm. Millennium mm. would exploit this arrogance by tricking Alucard into absorbing the soul and abilities of Schrodinger, a German cat boy who controls his own quantum state. <laughs> this grants him pseudo-omnipresence and immortality. He can exist everywhere and nowhere and cannot die so long as he can recognize his own existence. But because Al had three million souls kicking around inside him, mm -hmm. Trudy couldn't recognize himself anymore, forcing him, and thus Alucard, to fade out of existence. So Alucard spent 30 years killing the other three million souls inside of him until he could return to reality. Oh my Is that God. what happened? He undid his own unexistence. Oh no my goodness. No matter the threat, Alucard will show no mercy. He's just waiting for the day he meets a noble human warrior strong enough to end his unlife for good. Mm. But should he face a fellow monster, a fool who rejected their humanity like himself, he'll let loose the dogs of war, and all hell will sing. I'm a dog. Mm. You're a dog food. <laughs> <laughs>
I Ooh. love the abridged. The abridged has a special place in our heart. I know. The abridged oh. version is hilarious. <laughs> We both got to look hard, right? Because we both can't stand Dio. Yeah. I'm, I'm not on Dio's side. Dio, a born hater. I, I can't do it. Right. I can't side with that. No. I can't side with somebody to kick dogs on first glance. I know. I can't do it. Yo, what's up with this this style of animation? It's different. Yeah, he was feeding on somebody in the car, too. Yep. Look at his pose. <laughs> I was just thinking about having fun. And by all means, take a bite. Oh. Up, there goes the stand. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh. Ooh. He's gonna come right back. Right back. Ooh, oh, that's lit. Man. That's tight though. Yeah. That's tight though. Oh, real Let's go! <laughs> Let, that's the bridge for sure. I know. Yo, mm. Mm. I forgot how old the yeah. other card was, bro. Use my control to do that. <laughs> you want blood, you disgusting monster? Tell me Dio about a win, bruh. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Okay. Stop it. Scaling from stone free and silver chariot, the world could punch relativistic meteors and move 1,500 times faster than light. That would make Dio nearly 40,000 times stronger and 800,000 mm. times faster than Alucard. 
Hell, Alucard couldn't even see or hurt the world in the first place because he's not a stand user. And yep, since stone mask vampires from JoJo aren't weak to holy weapons like Helsing vampires are, mm. Al's guns were mm -hmm. more or less dead weight. Plus, Alucard just had no way to get past the time stop. Even if he did somehow, Dio could just freeze him on contact. Mm -hmm. And considering Dio has taken punches from Star Platinum, Al would have had trouble doing damage even if he got the chance. Dio's far greater speed and power the meant same that coming out of time. nowhere. It's, it's hilarious. Can realistically kill Alucard three million times in quick succession. Without any viable options for attack or openings to exploit, that was cool, soul though. based regeneration meant he would run out of lives eventually, and level zero only sped up that process. Sure, that army's nothing to scoff at, but consider the time Dio's eye beam split those huge ass clouds. Estimating the size of the clouds and the speed at which they moved, Dio's beams must have output an energy of over 10 megatons mm. of TNT, enough to wipe out Alucard's army in one go, leaving him vulnerable. Just like mm. when this other vampire, Walter, could have killed him by piercing his heart. Alucard's even admitted it himself. Hell, Alucard's army is filled with blood. You know, that thing that Dio uses to heal? But Wiz, what about Schrodinger? With his powers, Al can't die unless he chooses to. While Schrodinger's mm -hmm. quantum immortality makes him impossible to kill normally, it is literally part of the story that Alucard cannot have Schrodinger's abilities and his greater array of powers at the same time, mm. or else he'll no longer exist. We can't okay. give him both Schrodinger and his standard powers without breaking the lore and rules of the character. Even if we did, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't help him kill Dio at all, so at best, it'd be a stalemate. Mm -hmm. Until yeah. Dio hypnotizes Alucard, asks him about his powers, and forces him to eject Schrody like the rest of his souls. Shocking mm. though it may be, Dio's overwhelming offense, impenetrable defense, and uniquely devastating abilities wore Alucard down until the no-life king had no lives left. Alucard got Dio'd! <laughs> Boomstick, you tell the worst puns in the world. Yes. That's right, and you're just gonna have to deal with it. And hey, wait oh a minute, there was a That's my territory! We talked about this! <laughs> Who is Dio? Oh, oh, oh. Mm -mm. You suck. I hate, I, I hate Dio. <laughs> yes. I hate Dio I hate so, so much. much. Damn it, Dio. All right, what's next, next time. Akuma vs. Oh, Shao Kahn? Oh, because when I was like, I is that, don't know who that, that is. I might say. Is that? Is that what? <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen him in such a long time. That's why I was like, wait, hold up. Right. Um, but that's, mm, that's going to um, be two tanks. Yeah, I wonder how that's going to go. Going against each other. My God. I'm, I'm excited. But this that battle was good. This I good. Dio. Dio's Dio a sucks, great villain. Man. But I remember me and Jazz first starting because everybody was like, yeah, God, to watch JoJo. And then we watched mm -hmm. JoJo. We, can, we became mega fans of it. And I think it was like, what, season four is when uh, Jotaro came in. Mm -hmm. I was like, yo, what's up with him talking to his mom like this? You'll see what I'm talking about when you if you guys yeah, watch it. Yeah, the thing that, like, like I knew about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure way before, like, I watched the series because, mm -hmm. like, it used to come on Toonami. Mm -hmm. But, like, when I was younger and I watched Toonami, of course, that was when we knew that, like, Codename Kid Next Door was, like, on. So, like, that was the season that yeah. I watched, like, one, like, I think it was a second with Joe. Jo jo Jonathan, I don't know which one, but he sounded like number one. Oh, and I yeah. I was so confused. Yeah. So when I watched it, I just watched it in the middle of the episode, and I was like, what is this? And then, like, the colors were changing. I didn't get what's going on. I was like, this is a weird show. But then I had to grow up to, like, get, get understand. Yeah, because so. we appreciate it so much. And now. we're ready. Yeah, we're ready for Stone Ocean, mm -hmm. which is gonna be on Netflix. Oh boy, it's, it's gonna be. Good, it's gonna be boy. in prison. It, I know. I whoa, whoa. Yeah. wait, you said no. prison? It's gonna be in prison. Look, it's a good setting. I feel like that would be a prison cool, is good. interesting yeah. setting. I yeah, don't know. I'm excited. Anyway, guys, uh, comment below. Let's what you think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Some more. This is.